Today we're going to build a custom horn for my buddy's uh, Jeep. He painted it up to look like the one from Jurassic Park and wants some cool sound effects to be able to play along when he's driving. So what we're going to do here is this is an, an Adafruit Audio FX Mini Soundboard. Um, I think it gives you eight different sound effects, seven, uh, there's seven different pin ins, yeah, and you have your electrical ground, left, right, out, output. So you can plug that into your computer uh, via USB and load the sound files and we'll go through that here in a little bit. Uh, we're going to only utilize six of those seven. Uh, we have a six position switch here to switch between the different sound effects and then a single action button to activate whichever one we chose. Uh, this is a 35 watt dual channel amplifier made by Vaget. I'll have links to all this stuff uh, down in the comment section. Um, a bullhorn and then we're going to 3D print a project box and I need a little space between the electronics and our switching unit so we're just going to use some Cat5 cable. Uh, almost everybody has extra of those sitting around. We just need their yeah, six wires to go up and back. So um, let's get started. This particular stripper doesn't have a small enough hole for my little wire, so I tried using the jaw here, but it just kind of chewed the tip all up. So I had to switch to a different, more reliable tool. chop that off. And then ground left, right, and ground. So the amplifier board has our inputs right here. It comes with this lovely little plug cord and our wires. So we'll go ahead and hook this into our ground left, right, and there's another ground.
On this project, I use this hardwire mini USB 12 volt to 5 volt converter. You also can use just a little buck converter that would leave your USB cable open for reprogramming it. Nice. There we are. The sound in real life is better. 